Good morning, grade six. Welcome to English class. I am your teacher. I am teacher Ayan. Our lesson for this week is interpret the meaning suggested in visual media through a focus on visual elements. At the end of this video lesson, we are expected to interpret the meaning suggested in visual media through a focus on visual elements. Let us define first what is a visual element. A visual element is any characteristic that we can see including line, shape, direction, size, texture, color, and value. Line is a set of points extending in both directions. It is used to create shapes, forms, and textures. Lines can vary in direction, length, and width. These lines are examples of vertical lines. In Filipino, ito ang tinatawag na mga linya o buhit na patayo. Vertical lines are straight up and down lines that are moving in space without any slant and are perpendicular to horizontal lines. They suggest height and strength because they extend towards the sky and seem unshakable. So these are examples or these are the vertical lines. These lines are called horizontal lines. In Filipino, ito ang pinatawag na mga linya o buhit na pahiga. Horizontal lines are straight lines parallel to the horizon that move from left to right. They suggest width, distance, calmness, and stability. In Filipino, ito nga ang buhit na pahiga kung saan iginubuhit natin mula kaliwa pa kanan. These are horizontal lines. Another line is the diagonal lines. Diagonal lines are straight lines that slant in any direction except horizontal or vertical. When in use, they suggest movement or lack of stability. In Filipino, ito naman ang mga linya na pahalang. O kung titignan natin, ito yung guhit na uh, nakatagilid. At makikita natin na hindi stable o maaring may tendency na matumba yung linya. And that is the meaning of this line kapag nakakita kayo ng linyang ganito. Another line is the zigzag lines. Zigzag lines are a series of diagonal lines joined at ends. They can convey action and excitement as well as restlessness and anxiety. And this one is what we call the curve lines. Curve lines are lines that bend and change direction gradually. They can be simply wavy or spiral. Such lines convey the feelings of comfort and ease as well as sensual quality as they remind us of the human body. So those are examples of lines. Another visual element is what we call the space. Space is one of the basic elements of art. It refers to the distance between or the area around and within shapes, forms, colors, and lines. Space can be positive or negative. It includes the background, foreground, and middle ground. Space is the area covered by the entire artwork. Space can be positive and negative. Understanding positive and negative space plays an important role in the composite of artwork. Positive space is the area of interest or the subject of the artwork. Now look at this picture. What image can you see? This is the whole picture. What image can you see here? Can you say that the black portion is the subject? Or is it the white portion? There are two possible answers. If you look at the black portion, you can see a mother bear here. Have you seen that? And that is the area of interest or the subject and considered as the positive space. 
while if you look at the center or on the white space this one you can see a picture of a small baby bear then it is the center of interest or the subject of the artwork and this is what we call space another visual element is what we call symbol Symbol instantly makes people think of traits or message that they want to associate with a company, group, product, or service. In Filipino, ito ang tinatawag nating mga simbolo na kapag nakita natin, alam na natin anong company or anong mga restaurant, anong bagay ang dala ng simbolong ito. These are examples of symbols. How about this one? This is very popular nowadays. This symbol is what we call the symbol of the coronavirus 19. Another visual element is what we call color. Color is very powerful. Looking at the colors can make us feel happy, calm, and excited. Colors can create varied emotions. Here is the sample of our color chart wherein it says here that every color has its suggested meaning let us look at this for example this is the red color it says here that red means energy strength anger sexuality passion fear and ego so, it is just like when we close our eyes and think of a bluish water, the suggested value or the feelings is the calmness, to be calm, right? Because blue here says that the suggested meaning of color blue is spiritual, loyal, creative, sensitive, kind, moody. And aside from this suggested values, it says here that Blue also denotes cool, calm, peaceful, trust, wisdom, confidence, intelligence, faith, truth, and heaven. So, color also suggests values or feelings. So, study this chart and later on we will have a better understanding on the different meaning or suggested meaning of the colors. Another visual element is what we call gaze. Gaze means to stare, so just looking fixedly at something. To gaze is to look steadily, intently at something, especially at that which excites admiration, curiosity, or interest. This is an example of a picture showing gaze. Another visual element is what we call framing. Framing deals with the proper placement of subject together with other images. This is a picture of visual elements to highlight the subject inside a particular frame. Look at this picture now. The subject here is not the window. The subject here is the scenery. Look at this. This is the subject. The subject is being enclosed or being put in the perpendicular frame or in a frame which is the window. This is what we call framing. Another visual element is what we call distance. Aesthetic distance is the distance between the realities in a work of art. It does not only refer to literal picture, but it can be identified in other visual media and even in literary works where distance is visualized in the form of text. Nowadays, distance is very popular. The term itself, distance, we all know that um, we are now having social distancing. It is being required and mandated by the law nowadays due to coronavirus 19 and this is an example of a distance there is a um, particular space between your subject 
Look at the heat. Look at this one. See, there is a distance. Okay, so let us try this. Identify the visual element portrayed in each image or picture. Choose if the element portrayed is line, space, color, gaze, distance, framing, and symbol. Are you ready? Come on, let's start. Okay, what do you think is the visual element used in this picture? Alright, very good. This is what we call line. How about in this image? What visual element is present in this image? Alright, how about in this image? What is the visual element present in this picture? Okay, very good. Framing. How about this one? What do you think is the visual element present in this image? Okay. Very good. This is space. Uh-uh, what is this? This is very popular. What is this symbol? Okay, we all know this symbol. Everybody knows this symbol. You're, um, especially those kids, right? And this is what we call McDonald. Very good. This is a symbol. Wow, a very beautiful flower. What do you think is the visual element present in this beautiful picture? All right. Very good. The present here is the color. Look at the flower. It colors I think this is pink or red. Okay, check the chart. Check the chart that I've shown you a while ago and then look for the meaning or the suggested meaning of the color pink. Uh-uh, what is this? Okay, very good. The element present in this picture is gaze. This one. The very popular one nowadays. Okay, very good. This is what we call distance. Okay, good job, kids. Thumbs up, kids. You are all very good. You have just learned visual elements such as line, symbols, color, gaze, framing, and distance. Next meeting, we will be discussing more about visual media and its purpose. Very good. Thank you for listening. It's now time to answer the learning test. Okay, kids? Bye-bye for now. See you next week.